All right, we step back into the Players' Lounge where sophomore guard from the University of Houston, Nate Hinton, is with me today here from the American Digital Studios. And, Nate, congratulations are in order on Saturday. You and your team went to Wichita State. You got a 65-54 win in a very tough environment. You guys were up as much as 21 points. Kind of walk me through the win, sum it up. How important is it to the program? Uh, we just came in there. We came in there focused. Uh, we we had came in on a mission, and you know we we just got to st still keep our head on and, and and stay focused on the task at hand. And you know every game is a war, and we got to keep winning. So we just got to keep preparing for it. Hey, tell me a little bit about going on the road and getting wins in the American Athletic Conference. How tough is it to win on the road in this league? Yeah, it's very tough. Um, everything is, is detailed in, in this conference um, to the T. So uh, all these teams, they're going to come out with your, with your best shot. And, um, and road wins are actually very, very key into the conference because, um, you know, it's just so tough to, to win. And so, you know, you got to win the home games. And in the road games, you got to just go in there and battle. So you guys are literally a bucket away from being 5-0 and in the American Athletic Conference. You had a great defensive performance, I thought, against Wichita State, nine total blocks. What goes into playing great defense, and was that performance against Wichita State reflective of the team you can be defensively? Um, I believe it's just mentality. Um, like I said earlier, the guys was locked in, uh, headed into the, to the game. And it's just for, for us, we just got to have our, our head on and just stay locked in to, to, to what the, uh, the system has in place for us. And Coach Sampson and the staff does a great job in preparing us um, for the games. And so we just have to go out there and execute and, and have that mentality of, OK, we, we put the work in. Now it's time to go out there and, and, and you know, just guard. Nate, you guys are 14 and four overall. You've climbed into the national rankings. I want to get to that with you. But after the first four games of the year, you guys have been remarkably consistent. Why have you been consistent this year? Uh, it's the culture of the program. Uh, Coach Sanson, they, they do a great job of instilling that since day one um, when you step on campus. And, you know, at, at first, early on, I guess you could say we had a, a you know a couple of struggles, but it's just learning experience, just learning pains. And, you know, we don't have it all figured out yet, but because um, I don't want to speak too soon. But, you know, it's just every day is about hitting that rock and hitting that rock and, you know, just keep keep going at it and, and keep getting better. And so we, we can't be satisfied with, with just, you know, where we are right now. And so we just got to keep focused because we have our own individual goals as a team uh, to, to accomplish. So we just got to keep taking it one game at a time. Yeah, Nate, you played a ton of minutes this year. In fact, you lead Houston in minutes played. Evaluate your season so far. Um, It's been, it's been pretty uh, solid, I, I believe. Um, you know, just – Constantly just has been a learning experience for me as well because last year, you know, coming, I only averaged about 18 minutes, so that's less than a half. So now I'm doing that uh, in, in one half, really. Um, I'm doubling that. So everything is just, you know, some of the things, just my focus has to be uh, at extreme all-time high for myself and uh, for my team uh, because being one of the leaders on the team, I have to be, be on point just the whole time. And Coach looks at me to set the tone. And if, I, if I'm not focused, then that just affects everybody else. So it's been uh, it's be definitely been a learning challenge for me, but I've been trying to take it ahead on uh, ever since the beginning of the season. Hey, you guys beat Wichita, and then you wake up on Monday, and there's numbers beside your name. You guys have yeah. cracked into the top 25. How important is that? I know for some people it's window dressing. But come on, man, as a player, you wake up, you see those numbers beside the name of the school you represent. It's got to be exciting. It's definitely it's definitely a blessing. Uh, we appreciate that. Um, but, you know, like, like I said, we, we, we got, we're on a mission. We, gotta, we still have things that we need to accomplish. So uh, we take it as a blessing, and, and we're going we're gonna, to, we're gonna, uh, you know, have it. But we also know that it's gonna, it comes with a price, and it comes with a, a, a target on your back. So now that everybody knows, okay, they're, they're one of those uh, top 25 in the country out of all the teams that play. So now it's like, you know, do we settle for that or do we keep getting better? And do we just, you know, be like satisfied or do we just keep getting better? And so that's just the key point for us. We just got to keep getting better and know that everybody's going to play their best against us. So now we have to be on point and be sharp with everything that we do. All right, before we get to the now, I want to go back to Christmas time, Christmas uh, in Hawaii. You guys yeah. ended up winning the Diamond Head Classic that you wanted on Christmas Day. Tell me about the trip, man. 
Oh man, the trip was amazing. Uh, just the, the beautiful sights. For some of us, that was our first time in Hawaii, so um, it was just an amazing experience um, to be there and to share that with our brothers out here. And it's just it's just an amazing feeling. And then you know that was at a time where we was kind of trying to figure things out and to you know kind of have that those wins. And we won the first game. Uh, and then we won the second game. And then you know, coach kept telling us just keep hitting it, just you know keep getting better, just keep working, and we're gonna win the tournament. And, and lo and behold, we played Washington, came in there with a great game plan, and, and we just stayed together. And uh, the, the young guys came in there, and everybody, it was a real collective uh, collective effort that whole tournament. So it was just a great feeling, and it kind of got our ball, got the ball for us and this season, this team, this year, rolling a little bit. All right, so I got to ask you, what about Hawaii created memory burn with you, that no matter how old you get, you will always remember this about that trip? Oh my goodness! Um, I think just the views, just the waking up, and you know the the view of just having the water, like walking out in the water right there, and then having the, the diamond head, um, the actual the mountain or the volcano, whatever it is, uh, just having it right there, and just seeing the views and just the sunset is just amazing. It's amazing view. You can't duplicate those views anywhere. It's kind of like one of those um, one of those backgrounds on a on a on a computer screen. It's, <laughs> yeah. It's like one of those, but it's like you're literally seeing it in your eyes. So I, I have pictures for days that I send back to my family. Yeah, I, as someone who's been to Hawaii, I am with you. All right, last thing, Thursday night. It's on ESPNU and the ESPN app. You guys are hosting UConn. What do you know about the Huskies? What can you tell us about this game coming up against UConn? They're a very talented group. Uh, Coach Hurley up there, he does a, a great job with those guys. Um, they'll come in there, they're going to come in there and play, and play their great game. They're going to play hungry and desperate. And so we just have to come in there and play play our game. And, and just, you know, it'll be a great game for the American Conference. Well, good luck on Thursday night against UConn. Nate Hinton, sophomore guard from the University of Houston. Thanks for taking some time and stopping by the Players' Lounge. Yes, sir. Thank you.